Pia Marianne Sundage is a Swedish former professional football player who played most of her career as a forward, but had stints as a midfielder as well as a sweeper. Sundage was the head coach of the United States women's national team from 2008 to 2012, during which her team won two Olympic gold medals and finished second at the World Cup. Sundage was the 2012 FIFA World Coach of the Year. She became head coach of the Sweden women's national football team on December 1, 2012. Sundage can be seen in the Sridges television documentary television series The Other Sport from 2013. Playing career. Equals club equals, Sundage started with IFKL Ham as a youth player and eventually moved to Folke Paragraph Pings KIK in 1978. She then joined Jai BK from 1979 to 1981. Sundage played 1982-1983 with Astas IF, scoring 30 times in her first season with the club and shipping in 35 more in her second season. 1984 saw a move back to Jitex BK, while 1985 saw Sundage split time between Statena IF, SS Lazio, and Jitex BK. She played the 1986 season with him RB IF DFF, before she moved back to Jitex BK from 1979 through 1989. Sundage finished her career with Hamabi IF DFF, playing from 1990 until she retired in 1996. She won four Damelsvenskan championships, all with Jitex BK, as well as two additional Svenska Kuten with the club. She also won two Svenska Kuten with Hamabi IF DFF. Equals international equals, Sundage made her first appearance for the Swedish national team as a 15-year-old in 1975, eventually amassing 146 caps and scoring 71 goals for her country. Her 71 goals gave her joint lead with Lena Vidikal for the most in the Swedish national team history, a record which has since been surpassed by Hanel Junberg. She participated for Sweden in the 1991 and 1995 editions of the FIFA Women's World Cup and the 1996 Summer Olympics. She won the 1984 UEFA Women's Championship. Her image appeared on a Swedish postage stamp in 1988. In 1989 Sundage scored the first goal in a women's match at Wembley Stadium, as Sweden beat England to a Euro 0 in a curtain a Euro razor for the Rus Cup. In 2000, Sundage finished sixth in the voting for FIFA Women's Player of the Century. Coaching career. Equals pre-United States equals, Sundage got her starting coaching as a player manager when she was with Hamabi IFDFF from 1992 to 1994. She then took assistance jobs with Valentina BK and AIK Football Dam before moving across the Atlantic Ocean to become an assistant with Philadelphia Charge of the New Women's United Soccer Association in the United States. She eventually was hired on by Boston Breakers as the head coach, winning the league title and being named the 2003 WUSA Coach of the Year in the process. Once the WUSA folded however, it was back to Scandinavia to take on further coaching positions. Her relationship with the Boston Breakers led United States women's national team captain Christine Lilly and fellow US WNT player Kate Markgraf joining her in the Swedish Damelsvenskan when Pia coached KIF Rebro DFF from 2005 to 2006, after a brief stint with Colbert Mayel in 2004. Lilly said she wanted to play for Pia again. Sundage served as an assistant to Marika Domanski Lifers for the China women's national team during the 2007 FIFA Women's World Cup. Equals United States women's national team manager equals, Pia Sundage was announced as the United States women's national team head coach on November 13, 2007. She became the seventh head coach in the U.S. team's history and the third woman. Lauren Gregg was in charge for three games in 2000. April Heinrichs led the squad from 2000 to Euro 2004 and won the 2004 Summer Olympics, while Sundage served as a scout for the United States during the 2004 Olympics. While at the helm of the United States, Sundage has won the 2008 Algarve Cup and gold medals at both the 2008 Summer Olympics and the 2012 Summer Olympics. She was on the verge of winning the 2009 Algarve Cup but the United States lost out to Sundage's native Sweden on penalties. However, 
she did win the 2010 Algarve Cup a year later, defeating world and European champions Germany 3-2 in the final. She coached the women's team to the final of the 2011 FIFA Women's World Cup, where the team advanced to the final for the first time since 1999. However, they were upset by Japan, losing 3-1 on penalty kicks. A year later, Sundage coached the USWNT to another gold medal at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, defeating Japan 2-1 in a Women's World Cup final rematch, with Carly Lloyd scoring both goals. On September 1, 2012, Sundage announced she was stepping down as the U.S. women's head coach having expressed a desire to seek opportunities in her native Sweden. Sundage announced she would coach the U.S. team's games on 16 and 19 September on the team's Olympic victory tour before officially resigning. I have days where I think, what am I doing? And there are other days where I'm like, I'm all up for this next challenge Sundage said upon announcing her departing the U.S. women's national team. She coached her last game against Australia as part of the team's Olympic victory tour on September 19, defeating them 6-2. With this final win Sundage was able to leave the team with a June 10, 91, win-loss tie, record that included two Olympic gold medals and a second-place finish at the 2011 FIFA Women a Euro unregistered trademark S World Cup. Equal Sweden women's national team manager equals the Swedish Football Association announced early September 2, 2012 that Sundage signed a four-year contract that starts on December 1. The announcement came hours after Sundage's match as coach of the U.S. women's team, an 8-0 win in a friendly match against Costa Rica. The first of a series organized to celebrate the winning of gold medal at the 2012 London Olympics. Sundage replaced Thomas Denneby who resigned after Sweden failed to reach the semi-finals in 2012 Olympics. I have long dreamed of becoming Sweden coach and now I am so happy Sundage said. First major tournament for Sundage as coach of Sweden team, was the 2013 European Championship which Sweden hosted. Sweden lost 0-1 in the semi-final to Germany, which won the championship. Personal life, in January 2010. Sundage mentioned in a Swedish TV interview that as a lesbian she has not felt any homophobia as a coach. There has been no problem for me to be openly gay as head coach in the U.S., said Sundage. Honors. Equals managerial honors equals, United States Women, Olympic Gold Medal, 2008, 2012, FIFA Women's World Cup runner-up, 2011, Four Nations Tournament, 2008, 2011, Algarve Cup, 2008, 2010, 2011. Equals individual equals, FIFA World Coach of the Year, 2012, 2003 WUSA Coach of the Year. Equals managerial statistics equals, all competitive league games and international matches are included. As of June 8, 2015. References. External links, Pierre Sundage a Euro FIFA competition record. U.S. soccer coach profile, Sweden coach profile.